or chapter seven's mini lecture for learning outcomes. I picked define the term prehension, describe a prehension example, discuss for a motor control perspective, the relationship among the components of the prehension action, and discuss the role of vision in prehension. Prehension involves the action of reaching for and grasping an object that may be stationary or moving. And the components for prehension um, involves transport, reach, grasp, and object manipulation. So the object manipulation component refers to the functional goal for the pre prehension action. And this basically means that the important part of understanding the control of prehension is pointing and aiming movements and this relates to what the person intends to do with the object after grasping it the importance of the this component is that it influences the kinematic and the kinetic characteristics of the transport and the grass components so for example if a person intends to pick up a cup from it the transport and graph characteristics will differ from those associated with the person picking up the cup and moving it um, to a different location on the table. So when we're looking at the relationship between prehension components um, from a motor control perspective, we're seeing that prehension involves the arm transporting the hand to an object as the hand forms a grip, um, forms the grip characteristics uh, that is needed to grasp the object. And then lastly, to look at the role of vision in prehension, um, basically, prehension actions are a type of speed accuracy skill because accurate move, hand movements is required and the movement of speed will be influenced by that accuracy demand. So this basically means that we should expect to, see, um, to find that vision is involved in prehension actions in ways that are similar to those we discussed in the preceding section of the speed accuracy skills. So vision, essentially vision uh, plays an essential role as the hand travels towards the object by detecting when the hand will contact the object so that the timing of the grip um, can be controlled appropriately. This can also provide information about the spiral characteristics of the grip relative to the object's size, shape, or orientation, orientation so that the spiral characteristics of the grip can be controlled appropriately.